take care of the security on the client side, taking care of, of the security uh, in the browser, um, which I will happily share if you, if you uh, visit uh, afterwards. Um, but no matter what, I think we need to focus more on the security on the client side and, and start raising the awareness of what are the methods and what are the consequences if my sensitive web service is being accessed from a compromised client. So this should, I think, be part of the overall security picture. So thanks, thanks for your attention. Um, having attention this, this early, especially after the evening yesterday, is, uh, is quite a task. So thank you for that, and thank you for listening to, uh, I'm afraid, some, some bad news. Are there any, any questions? Maybe we have time for, yeah? So, sorry? It's, it's, yes. Um, I'm, I'm afraid it's, it's exactly the same. This is, uh, this is the operating system um, actually taking control and doing things to, um, to the applications and, and the programs. So there are no, I think the features in Chrome is, is more intended to, 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 to work the, the other, other way around, sandboxing uh, different, different aspects of the things going on inside the browser, separating things. Um, not dealing with the problem that if the browser is running on an infected system, um, uh, what what is the danger of having, having a memory browser? So, so our devil in the browser would have absolutely no problem with with gaining access to Chrome. We can we can play around a little bit with with the test tool if you want, um, but the scenario is, is exactly the same. Yes, exactly. Uh, this, this is exactly uh, the same. Uh, Windows 2000, Vista, uh, Windows 7, it's all the same case. You would see that the security mechanism introduced in, say, Vista, Windows 7 with different integrity levels, it's very much about uh, dealing with the problem of malware using the browser as an injection vector to gain, to gain access to the PC. So what you do with those kind of low integrity, uh, trying to encapsulate the, the process, is um, that you, you sandbox it. So if it's compromised from, from the server side or out there, that um, if, if the browser itself is compromised, it doesn't spread to the system. So it's like, it's like the, the, in, the revert of, of what we discussed today. If the malware has infected the PC, he would have no problem um, gaining access to, to, to the browser on, on, on Vista or, or Windows 7. Actually, I would say it's a bit easier because the browser often operates at, at a very low uh, integrity level. So actually, he has easier play when he has first gained access to the, to the PC. It's easier, almost. But it might be more difficult to, to go in by misuse. Okay, I think we have to stop. Yeah, thank you for your attention.